Hello and welcome back to BK Engineering. Today we are going to see motion analysis redundancies. If we do a motion analysis on a particular assembly, we will be getting some inaccuracies in motion steady calculations. That's because of over constraining mates and unwanted mates. That means we will be having an unwanted degrees of freedom for that assembly. So in this tutorial we will see how to control those unwanted uh, mates or degrees of freedom. Uh, for that we need to open this model. Uh, these are the tutorials that we will be getting by default uh, when we install SolidWorks in our systems. By just clicking here uh, we will be opening the model or else you can uh, open from the drive that we have uh, installed SolidWorks entering into the tutorials folder. As we are doing uh, motion analysis we need to switch from model to motion steady. Uh, sometimes we will be not getting motion analysis here. For that we need to enter into tools, add-ins and check the box of SOLIDWORKS motion. Then we will be getting option of motion analysis in type of steady. The first step of the tutorial is to check the forces properly given or not. So everything is perfectly there. Uh, first, we'll see how the assembly is actually working. What what are all the motions that I was given for this assembly? So this is how the assembly moves from that end to this end, and uh, we'll be uh, seeing uh, 12, 12 unwanted uh, degrees of freedom or mates. We can say. So to reduce these. Uh, Mates, uh, okay. Uh, here we, we are having a body linkage and uh, connectors one and two as separate group, as separate uh, parts. As we all know, when we have a, a bigger assembly, we'll be doing some sub assemblies and uh, inserting them while we are assembling the total uh, part. In the same way we can uh, control in the motion uh, analysis here by just uh, converting this base linkage connector 1 and connector 2 uh, into a new rigid group by selecting all three and uh, clicking add to new rigid group we will be getting rigid group here under the results folder in the motion study tree here. So when we recalculate it uh, we can see the decrease of uh, degrees of freedom from 12 to 8 the unwanted mates from 12 to 8 so the next uh, thing that we can do for reducing the unwanted uh, degrees of freedom or uh, mates okay uh, we are having a pivot mates here two pivot mates it can be uh, replaceable by uh, one hinge mate that is mechanical mate that we will give in SOLIDWORKS. So we need to delete these mates from motion steady but not from the feature uh, original feature mates here that will affect the assembly. So I have deleted the mates in motion steady but not in the feature tree here. So I have deleted the mates. I need to replace it with a hinge mate or else uh, while we are uh, doing giving motion to it it will affect the results that we need so we will be getting a dialog box of update initial animation set but it's asking us to if we need to update in the feature tree up as well we need to click no then click ok the mates has been updated just uh, recalculating it uh, will be reducing the unwanted mates from 8 to 6 so let's just see what are all the unwanted uh, mates and motions that we have in this assembly so there are all the things have been completed okay okay we'll, uh, we are having a motion uh, we'll rotate uh, mate here that is uh, not needed uh, as per the assembly motion that is given for this uh, motion analysis so we will delete this motion female rotate or uh, mate here from the motion steady tree yeah. not from the feature uh, tree up here and uh, as we have deleted the mate we need to control the mate of these assemblies as well so we will give a 
made uh, between this axis and uh, this edge as perpendicular okay we have uh, so let's recalculate it okay the mates has been updated but we have given as it is given a concentric here we have just uh, controlled the single uh, position of it we need to uh, control the yeah. next uh, another position as well so let's give another mate of uh, mate between uh, student female and uh, connector 2 okay connector 2 of axis 1 and student uh, female of point 1 and uh, we'll, uh, we'll give a constant mate now let's have given made wrongly so I just check the portion of it okay it is same uh, let's give a new mate properly now okay connector to axis 1 and uh, piston point I have given the point uh, I have given the mate for point 1 and axis 2 let's recalculate it and see the motion of this assembly here Okay, that's how you uh, control all the unwanted uh, mates and uh, unwanted degrees of freedom. Uh, it's reduced from uh, initially it was six and it's reduced to five. Uh, so we have controlled all the unwanted mates and uh, given the different mates, control the motions, unwanted uh, degrees of freedom. Even though it's not uh, even that uh, for that we need to change the motion study properties, uh, replace uh, redundant mates, defy mate should be replaced with, uh, with bushings then we'll be arresting all the converting all the unwanted uh, mates from 5 to 0 as it is converted here after converting all we will be getting a, a different symbol at all the positions that means we have uh, decreased the uh, all the tool unwanted uh, redundancies in the motion analysis here for this assembly so you can uh, see the results now for that uh, just uh, right click on the results folder and show all plots so we have gapped uh, exactly as we as it is uh, in these uh, tutorials folder here so that's how you control uh, all the redundancies of motion analysis to reduce the inaccuracies of motion study calculations thank you let's meet in the next video if you like the video please like share and subscribe if you want to learn any courses regarding mechanical engineering please click the link in the description